Okay, so first we need to import our scanned ring. We're going to go to File, Import. Okay, um, you wanna choose the file type below. I put it on all files and we can see the one I have is an OBJ. You may also be using an STL. I'm gonna select that and click Open. Okay, give that a second to open. It depends on how large the file is. Okay, so your ring is probably not going to come in centered or rotated properly. It depends on how it was scanned on the platform. Um, so we're going to do a move rotate scale. Switch to rotate here and rotate that to 90 degrees. I'm going to check it from the side just to make sure it's even. It's not, so we'll straighten that a little bit. Okay. Validate that, and then we'll go ahead and do a positioning to get it centered. Um, double, click, double click back in there. While it's centered, um, it's gonna center it perfectly. We wanna center it to the finger size, so we'll manually kind of locate it like so. Okay, so and we see that it needs to be rotated a little more in this direction. So you just want to get it lined up as even as possible using your axes and planes as a guide. All right, right about there looks good. Okay, so now we can go into three shaper. Make sure you don't select the ring to take it into three shaper. This is a much too large of a file to edit. So just make sure nothing is selected and click on the three shaper logo. Okay. I'm going to create a disc. A disc is a 2D shape or a ring. I'm sorry, a ring is the hole in it. Okay, it's gonna come in the default plane, so we'll first flip that over to the O, Y, I'm sorry, the O, X, Z plane. And then we're going to go ahead and set this at, twenty-four slices. And then we're going to make it a little thinner and then line it up so that it's just inside your finger. Okay, from the side, we're gonna pull it over in front of the ring like so. And then continue to line it up. You wanna get it again inside that finger as close to the edge as possible. We need those to touch the edges, so make sure you don't go inside the ring shape. Just get it as close as possible. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and refine the shape. That's gonna give us more points, some more edges. And I'm gonna switch to vertex mode and select all of the points. And then we're going to go to project points. So in the move section, project onto. And we're going to choose the support type is going to be a solid. Open up the configuration, hit the plus and choose the solid. Okay, now we're going to project according to normal. And that's going to project those points right onto the edge of our ring. Okay, so just double check to make sure it's lined up everything. We're not missing any points or going past the ring. That looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and exit out of three shaper. That's all we need is that little disc projected. Give that a second to process. I'm gonna freeze my scanned ring here so I can see my shape. And we're going to, oh, I need to exit one more time out of 3Shaper. Now back in 3Design, we can select that disc that we projected onto the side of our ring and extract curve. And we'll extract this entire edge here on the inside. And then we can hide the disc or the ring. And now we've got our curve that matches up against the side of our ring. So the rest is your regular three design um, sweeping. We're going to go ahead and take that uh, projected or er, extracted curve and move it 
however thick you want your shadow band to be. So I'm gonna move it negative two on the Y and keep original. And then I'm going to go into a sketch here in the front view and draw my profile shape or section. Whatever shape you want your shadow band to be. I think something like that should be good. And now we just simply select the two rails or paths, click on curve sweeping. The second tab will add our section. And in the third tab, we will, I'm gonna go ahead and make this precise to give more sections. Go in the third tab and rotate it if needed and align it on top of the curves. Okay, so just like that, we have our matching shadow band. Now, this ring is not a symmetrical ring, so you'll probably want to do that again for the other side. And once you've done that, again, back in 3Design, we can um, run a channel along here, do some micro prongs, whatever you want with it.